Trophies of Gratitude Practicing daily gratitude is vital for your positive mental health. It's also a very important way to make others feel appreciated. So let's get started. In previous videos, we talked about how you can make art from things that would be thrown away or recycled and how you could make paint or glue from things that are around your home. First, choose someone in your life for whom you are thankful. Then make a list of why you're thankful for this person and images associated with that. And then make a list of symbols and images that you associate with this person. I had to write a bunch of names down and draw the name out of the hat, and I picked one of my siblings. Let's listen to youth poet laureate Amanda Gorman offer her words about gratefulness and hope during this pandemic. We will weather this unknown, but how we will weather this unknown together. So on this meaningful morn, we mourn and we mend like lights. We can't be broken even when we bend. As one, we will defeat both despair and disease. We stand with healthcare heroes and all employees, with families, libraries, schools, waiters, artists, businesses, restaurants, and hospitals hit hardest. We ignite not in the lights, but in the lack thereof. For it is in loss that we truly learn to love. In this chaos, we will discover clarity. In suffering, we must find solidarity. For it's our grief that gives us our gratitude, shows us how to find hope if we ever lose it. So ensure this ache wasn't endured in vain. Do not ignore the pain. Give it purpose. Use it. Read children's books, dance alone to DJ music. Know that this distance will make our hearts grow fonder. From a wave of woes, our world will emerge stronger. We'll observe how the burdens braved by humankind are also the moments that make us humans kind. Let every dawn find us courageous, brought closer, heeding the light before the fight is over. When this ends, we'll smile sweetly, finally seeing. In testing times, we became the best of beings.